this weekly is all about hurt triggers. Now there's a few way to trigger hurts. We've got leech for one, but not only leech, we've also got phoenix and hedgehog and the like. There's also several different hurt pets that are the primary foundation for these hurt teams. I'm looking at camels, sometimes even peacocks, especially triceratops. So we're gonna try out a few different combinations, see what works, see what doesn't. Hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in. We got kind of an insane idea for something that I want to try. Will it work? Probably. I think we could manage to pull it off. Will we get wins with it is a whole other question. <laughs> I don't think the barrier to entry is what's prohibiting it. I think it being bad is probably what's going to prohibit it. But I mean, we're not going to know unless we try, right? That's kind of the whole point. Running like this. Maybe the mouse will hit somebody with one attack. Unlikely given their team, but didn't really matter in the end. Okay, level you. I mean the leech has has some opportunity here. You could also try badger. My issue with badger is how do you scale it, right? How do you scale up your badger? All we really have is betta fish pill. Like ever until we get to like maybe manatee, but you don't really want to put someone behind the badger. I don't think it's the badger's weekly, I'll be honest. I think we're gonna have to call it. Okay. Um, sell the mouse. You can throw in a lemur with some garlic. Um, who do we- I guess we'll eat the lemur here. I like that. Run a little hurt build, you know? Hopefully we can find a camel soon, so that he doesn't keep eating our lemur. Looking good. Looking great, I might even say. Roll me. Silk moth, anybody? Anyone got a silk moth? No. Okay. <laughs> there he is. Another leech. Now that's a little too much. Surely that's too much. Or is it? We could do a leech train. This leech sucks the lemur and then this leech sucks the leech. Kind of passing the health along down the line. <laughs> it's like the firefighters back in the day. With their buckets. Um, yeah, no, that's probably not gonna cut it, I don't think. I'd have to reckon that's probably not going to do what we need it to do. Where's our koala? Alright. Koala can turn the leech into a little less of a parasite. Slightly. Unfortunate. That guy's got almost a level 3 otter. What does that happen? I didn't even know there were otters in the pack. <laughs> I had to double check. That's insane. Alright, give me a camel please. Or a peacock even. I think we could work with a peacock. Here to this homie. Mm -hmm, Roaming. Do we throw in the leech? No. Of course not. That would be ridiculous. I don't even want to buy any of this. You get a peach for you. Just look for a heckin' camel, you know? Maybe that's just the way to do it. Find the camel. We know what our target is, just get the camel already, you know? If we had lollipop, dude, I'd be full sending the peacock all day. <laughs> Don't even doubt it for a second. But who wants a 50 attack, 3 health peacock? Nobody. It's just not it. It's not where, where the money's made. Unless you get a pita bread. But that's like way down the line. That's just like, let's be real. Probably not gonna happen. But I mean, if the camel keeps evading us, maybe it will. I don't know. Maybe we full send. 
Looking pretty good. I mean, we're holding our own, don't get me wrong. Um, I mean, we could also just do the poor man's... <laughs> poor man's pita bread. It's just five porridges. It's an option. I'm not saying I love it as an option. <laughs> but by God, it's an option. All right, we might as well give you some attack. We don't. Peacock's already got the attack covered. We're eating porridge tonight, y'all. This is gonna be a good one. Maybe. Okay. He's running the scaling build. That's a good sign for us. That means we have a chance. Okay. <laughs> Go manatee. Until we get pita, we're just gonna keep keep eating this porridge. Looking real great depression out here. All we've got is porridge. All right, we need. I wish we had gotten another foo dog. The 15 health breakpoint on the manatee kind of sucks, you know. Man. I feel like we could have won that one. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. If we could find some more peacocks, that would make this a lot easier. But so far, that's not happening. We are finding quite literally nothing. So you're gaining how much? Let's, let's math this out for a second. You're gaining five attack per turn and zero health net. Okay. Then we have to keep augmenting it with these drink me liquids and porridge, making us look like a bunch of fools. Wow. If we had given that leech garlic, we would have been alright. Crazy. Um, yeah sure, why not. Again, if we could get literally any peacocks, <laughs> this, this build would be a lot easier. A whole heck of a lot easier. I don't need Anubis yet. I want to try to get Anubis if we can get some Triceratops. Like stack a bunch of Triceratops, get Anubis going. Oh shoot, okay. I guess our manatee's gone. That's unfortunate. We're hanging in there. <laughs> There's the pita bread. Do we even care about it? Is... is is the garlic just better? I don't know, maybe. Let's try it. He's got no garlic, but he's 50 health. That's gotta account for something, right? Yeah, I'd say so. We could give him garlic again, too. Melon. Give you melon. Give you garlic. Give you a level up. Alright, we'll send. The koala and food dog. I'm sure we're all aware. Let's just address the elephant in the room. They're not doing a damn thing, come on. <laughs> Koala's keeping it at 50 health. Maybe that counts for something. Boo dog. I just hanging around. <laughs> just hanging around. Alright, cool. Maybe the peacock is better than I gave him credit. I guess we get rid of the foo dog first. Cause yeah, like I said, you're technically still doing something. I mean I think we just full send this, right? 
We're not gonna switch over to Triceratops. Maybe we will. <laughs> I don't know. I genuinely do not know. Well, it's too late for the peacock. You came in like seven years too late. Alright, 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 alright. We'll try it. If we survive long enough, probably next turn, we'll we'll give it a shot. Throw in the Triceratops for a second. And we're good. <laughs> that was one of those just peacock OP kind of angles, but we'll take it. Okay. I think we do it. Alright, what do we got? Can we do it? Something about the Triceratops really likes to hit the leech. I don't know what it is. Well, we may have pivoted just in time. Depends how this goes. <laughs> okay, we get a draw. We'll take it. Wasn't sure how that one was going to pan out there for a bit. Alright, looking for levels on these twos. Maybe we'll get a mushroom on the orca as well. Oh, hello. Um, level you. Hold on to this guy. Okay. I'd rather get the orca if possible, but we'll, we'll try it out. We'll stick six on our phoenix, for sure. <laughs> Just keep summoning them. <laughs> Just keep going. Well, has anyone figured out that Peacock is OP? I figured the answer is probably yes, but let's just reiterate for a second. Yeah, that stuff is OP. That is way too strong. Come on, one of these two. Come on. We'll take it. We'll take it. What do we got? <laughs> Can we pull it out? Does the poor man's pita bread get you to 10 wins? Let's find out. Tiger gets him there. Um, yeah. I don't know, if we got the level 3 Phoenix, would that have done anything? Because, like, the Orca doesn't do a whole lot if there's no, like, summon support. Maybe the Orca wasn't the play. Forage got us further than I thought it would. We'll just put it that way. Roll me. <laughs> yeah, I hate to see it. It wasn't meant to be. Gotta love an ant. Gotta love two ants. Even better. Be some bamboozled smartphones. I don't know why that just reminded me of, uh... <laughs> did you guys see the... The congressional hearings of the TikTok CEO in the US? Dude. That's wild. <laughs> They're going on like a China hunt. Doing anything they can to make sure this man's Chinese. Crazy. Alright, love this. We will take this. Hopefully something good here. Better fish is not bad. About all I can say about it. Do a little silk moth here, maybe. Hold on to the sleeping pill for later. I actually don't think I love a level 2 lemur. You really need that much garlic, you know? Now let's be real here for a second. Also, that was very unfortunate. We That 1 in 5 won him. Won him that round. I 
I mean, I guess we put it on the end here. We go here. Get a little garlic press cooking. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just roll. I need the duck, but I'll keep the, the ants. We can get a level three. Maybe we'll hang on to the, the level three ant for a little bit longer. Because we have a... Uh, no, we don't actually. I don't know why I thought we had hammerhead shark available. <laughs> Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, secretary bird. There's something there, I think. A little secretary bird here. Um, is there a conpeto? Indirectly, maybe? Not reliably. And then there's koala. We could maybe try to force something like that. Oh baby. His ant is doing work for us. Love to see it. Okay, get rid of the silk moth. Let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I guess we probably could have grabbed that leech. There's just nothing to leech yet, you know? Like, which one do you get first? The leech or the leechy? We tried on the Cuddle Toad. <laughs> it's not happening. We'll go Witch's Broom here. Um, anything good? Not seeing a whole lot. Koala. Okay, tell you what. Just because it's technically scaling, let's do this. Maybe we'll find a Triceratops. That'll be my goal. But at least we're getting 2-2 on the ant here. Okay, this could be a little problematic. Why does he get a lychee? Come on. <laughs> Share the love a little. Do we even want a camel though, you know? Is that doing anything for us? I mean, technically, yes. Okay. Go here. If we can find a pill, we'll level up the, the koalas here. We did find a pill. Didn't actually think we were going to find one. Uh, panther bad dog. Not really a whole lot there, huh? Okay. Well, we're going to be on turn tier 5 next turn. Um, so at the very minimum, I think we try to find a Triceratops. We can finally get rid of this homie. Because we're just like, we're just not keeping up with scaling. We just don't have any scaling engine, really. No, thank you. Hold on to you. Come on. Come on. There he is. It's gonna have to wait. I hate to do it, but that's how it's gonna have to be. Hopefully we won't lose too quick here. On the bright side, they're very low health, but we're okay. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. All right, we go here. What do we get? Saber tooth? I mean, straight up, that's probably just good enough. That's good. 
Alright, we're looking for pitas. If we can get pitas cooking, that would be huge. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> that leech. See, it's like their, their leech has gotten so much longer to scale up. It's going to be very difficult to compete. Doesn't mean we can't do it. Just going to be a little dicey. Maybe do a little something like this. Interesting. I wonder if that works for him. Evidently it didn't there, but... Like, is there any situation where you do, like, wolverines with that kind of setup? I feel like that would be kind of interesting. Maybe we'll try it. all kind of suck. <laughs> They're all a little bit icky, if you will. Man, these hits are just terrible for us. Fortunately, we're I think going to be all right. Yeah, that was just not adding up very well. Ooh, that's huge. And we go you. And we go roll. Get a little lemon going. Just a little smidge of lemon, you know? Nine nine per turn is kinda wild. I feel like that's kind of a weird setup, you know? Like, do you want health or do you not want health? <laughs> like, having an armadillo with the kraken seem to be contradicting each other. Alright, what else have we got here? I haven't found any pitas. Kind of depressing. I think we're just rolling here. Maybe we'll eventually find pitas. Probably not. There we go. Share the love a little bit. Perfect lethal. No way. Can we break through it? No shot. No shot, did we just get perfect lethal? Hmm, we'll go... Basilisk into a toad, perhaps? Try to rock some ducklings. I don't think it's gonna end well. There'll be some withering ice cubes. Frosty the Snowman's long lost child. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. We got a dub though, that's huge. Do this. Ant is very good. I think he'll get us a good ways there. Cool. Two wins, look at that. Good start to the weekly. Get rid of you. Mm -hmm. Probably the weakness, I would imagine, is the way to go. We can throw a pug behind you, maybe do a buy sell. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. I guess there's a world where we could have sold the duckling. Give the pug a little extra love. Look at that witch's broom doing work for us. Thank you, thank you. 
And then... We could camel, we could also guinea fowl. Do we have a lot of trumpet synergies or something? No. <laughs> Quite simply, we do not. Alright, we'll go camel then. Get a little bit of this going on. Is this even a ghost kitten angle? They don't have that many snipes. All I've got is like a great one. Which doesn't really feel like... I guess there's a woodpecker. But there's no pineapple, so is it even really that much of a concern? I don't think so. I don't anticipate woodpecker being a, a big player in this weekly. Okay, let's do it like this. Like this. Yeah. I think that's fun. Looking good. Looking great, actually. Better fish with no one to better. Feels bad, man. Level me. What do we got? Seagull? Any seagull buy cells? No. If you don't have magic beans and you don't have rice, I think seagull is less useful. There is mushroom, which has potential, but that's about it. What else have we got? Let's see if there's any good synergies here. We've got leech pita bread eventually. So that's like... <laughs> Way down the road, we could try that one. Um, I think we get rid of Basilisk here. He's kind of overstayed his welcome a little bit, in my opinion. I think we just throw you in. Not bad, not bad. Get a little betta fish action. We don't really have anyone for our pug right now, which is a little sad. Cool, cool. Can we get this camel level? That's the question. Um, maybe it's time to get rid of the ant. You know, what if we do a little bit of this? If we get a leech behind the camel, that would be kind of cool. I feel like that would work well. Any leeches out there? Any leech homies? That definitely feels like the angle in this weekly. Not finding any leeches. There he is. There's our buddy, Mr. Leech. Where have you been? Hold the pill for the betta fish. I'm not really hanging on to this this porcupine here. I don't think he's gonna do a whole lot li long term. Though he is doing work right now. He got us the draw. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Porcupine. And for your valiant act of service. We will probably get rid of you. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. We'll see. The so rock is decent. We really gotta find some camels out here. Like, come on, guys. Where are all the camel levels? I'll throw in a rock, because it's good. Leech is not worth it. It's just not worth investing in. Kraken, similarly not worth it. Because it goes directly opposite to what we're trying to do here. Alright, well. We're getting some buffs. Slowly but surely. We'll be able to take you out, and then it'll just be nice clean up with the rock. I mean, I don't want to jinx it or nothing, but 
this weekly is looking pretty chill. Will you? We get two leeches with the Triceratops? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. If we get Leech Triceratops and Leech Camel, that would be awesome. I would thoroughly enjoy that. And we're almost at PETA territory too. That's when it gets really fun. Oh, I'm glad the Triceratops hit the koala there. That saved us. Okay. Um... We could garlic on you. I kind of feel like levels are more important. And or pitas. No thank you. Um... It's not really a chicken angle, but... Boy, do I want to run one. <laughs> There's nothing I want more than to run a little chicken action right here. This has to be one of the most satisfying build archetypes. Like, just full on. It is so much fun. Something about the hurt triggers and the koalas and everything just going together. It's a good time. Um, still looking for the Triceratops. Still looking for pita breads. I don't know where those guys are hiding. We did find the Triceratops. I don't think we care about either of you. If we find another leech, I'll switch out the koala here. It's tough. Like, yeah, Phoenix is pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's not. Don't it here? Thank you. The Triceratops knows his mission. Keep buffing that leech. If we put the Phoenix up front, it can actually do us pretty solid for getting the hurt triggers too. Sure, it'll get rid of the garlic, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. All right, I'll tell you what. We go you up front. I'm not gonna run it yet. If we find another leech, I think I still wanna run the leech. There's the pita bread. Oh, we did find another leech. Okay, so here's where we have to decide. Is running a leech getting an extra 1-2 worth it? I don't think it actually is. Right, because hear me out. The camel isn't actually getting any buffs from the koala. And if we throw the leech in there, the way that I would want to order it, it would be stealing the buffs from the triceratops. What if we do something insane right here? Something like that, you know? And then it's just that much more likely to hit the Triceratops. I had to double check that it was a random friend because he just keeps hitting the leech. I don't know why. He's like, yeah, I got you. That was a little, uh, that, yeah. The peacock in front of all these homies, that was a little too much. We can mushroom you now, that's cool. Give him another pita bread, sure, sure. Save another one for next round. Do we happen to have any, uh, ooh, ooh hold on. I'll grab you. Sabertooth might be good too. Maybe we hold on to him for a second.
There, he did finally hit the wrong koala. It was a matter of time. So this is where it's a little tricky, right? You don't, you don't want to keep hitting these homies. You want to hit our guys. Alright, we're good, we're good. It's like you want all of your... All of your koalas just kind of go away all at once. <laughs> and they don't typically do that. Oh, we actually don't need pita bread here, do we? Is it a saber tooth angle? What if we hold on to him, but like, don't hard commit yet? I feel like we're getting like pretty lucky, all things considered, with how this is panning out. A little 6-6 six, six buff, don't mind if I do. So fortunately the peacock is gonna be doing, or the, what's his name? <laughs> the guy who we, we just got. I don't know why I can't think of words right now. Did we get a draw? Okay. Are we gonna get to 10? We're kind of stalling a little bit. Um, let's do this. Will you? Combine here. And we throw in a saber tooth. Now he will die immediately if he gets crisped. So we'll put him up here, but we can give him a PETA next turn. Okay, hold on. Give him a PETA, put him in by the leech here. Maybe that's the way to do it. Dude, our koala is actually kind of putting in work now. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> our koala is doing it. And then we override the peanuts. Yeah, we're golden, dude. It's all good. Gotta be one of the most fun strategies there is. The hurt build. Love to see it. And we got the koala badge. Look at that. Fantastic news. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.